Hello! Hey! Hello. So, we're gonna start this episode off with the challenge. Everybody chooses a brand. Say your choice. Wait, no, it says say your choice out loud before clicking. Oh. Kellogg's. Uh, Lay's. Uh, the Pizza Hut. I don't fucking know. Player order is decided based on how likely it is that the Flexor brand secretly rules the world. Start debating now. Wow, okay, hold on, wait. So, who picked what? Well, I picked Pizza Hut, you picked Kellogg's, Kellogg's and what'd you pick? Lay's. Lay's. I think Lay's. Maybe. I think Lay's, yeah. Literally, Lay's products are everywhere. It's like, it's... Oh, Dude, fuck. They sold... Kel Kellogg's, though? They sold a chicken and a waffles brand. And they made money off of that one. Okay, but, okay but, 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 like, every aisle you go down, you see at least four shelves covered with Kellogg's brand stuff. I wouldn't say four shelves. Oh, at least, Most of it's, dude. like, uh... Cereal bars, uh, cereal, you have fucking, like, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure Kellogg has, has, like, has, like, rice brands and, like, fucking, um... I, I mean, I, like, I, 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 Lay's I, already I, has I, the I voting think, system in, though. I think Kellogg's owns the, the <laughs> brand. I don't fucking know. No, no, no. These are both really big brands, so, like, hold on, wait, no. That's the other one that starts with another one. Kroger! Boys, I'm the gonna... other brand that starts with a K. I'm just gonna flip a coin, because both of your fucking brands are huge. Oh, you're just gonna pick Andy? Yeah, you, you don't even want nope. a 50 50 chance at maybe getting to go Do first. It. Someone call it in the air. Tails! It was Tails! Wow! <laughs> Alright! Fuck you, Kellogg's. Oh, I always go Tails. So I guess Kellogg's is secretly ruling the world. Tight. Tight? Good to know. Alright, Yellow. What are you doing? What's the plan, Boo Boo? Uh, oh, we're in the cafeteria. Yes, Where sir. Where do I want to sit? Oh, I don't what's know. Up? What's up, Polly Boo? Oh, you know I'm what comes to next to you, girl. Scott and Polly are sitting together, laughing their metaphorical asses off. Laughing their metaphorical asses off? Yeah, nice, I mean... Nice. Okay. Do Damon! Do Damon! Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Who's... Am I still doing Polly? Okay. Oh, sure, I don't know. Gah! I'm Damon! Look at my stupid red face! Fair. I use violence to cover up the fact that I've been brought up in a real... Brought up to reverse the toxic version of masculinity, <coughs> which has alienated me from my own true emotions. Wow, that got deep. That was super deep. Haha, <laughs> you sound exactly like him. <laughs> <coughs> okay, okay, you do Vera. Oh, God. I'm Vera. I'm very smart and my hair is pretty. And all my friends look up to me because I'm strong and depend a woman. Scott... <laughs> I'm not sure you understand how impressions work. I'm not Scott, I'm Vera. You can tell because I said my name just now. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> okay, what about you, Yellow? Got any good impressions? Just one, but it's a real doozy. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Woof, woof. It's me, Scott, a dog boy who's bad at impressions. Look Damn. at me, a Polly. Look at me go. Wow. Oh god, oh, I, I had to, go. Oh, I to go with the woof, woof. It's me, Scott, a dog boy who is bad at impressions. I feel like even he, I, I feel like even Scott would think that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know you're doing an impression of me because you said my name, but... Oh my god, that sounds exactly like him! <laughs> it does? Yeah. Remember that time we took that impressions class together and we had to introduce ourselves? Oh yeah, I guess I, guess I, I did say, say woof woof, woof. It's, it's me. Scott, <laughs> he's bad at impressions. <laughs> wow. But I didn't yell like that. I'm sorry, are you the real Scott? There's two absolutely identical werewolves in front of me, and I can't tell the difference. Ooh, thanks, Polly. <laughs> She's so cute. Polly insists on a... Polly insists on a smooching contest to determine who the real Scott is. You end up winning in more ways than one. Oh, yeah! Oh, fuck, boy. Nice. Let's do this! Acid. I can't remember how you get with the cat chicks. She's cute though. She's pretty cute. Hey, last night I read this article on how money causes pocket cancer in the long run. You don't want to get pocket cancer. Quick, give me that dangerous money you have. And you're still healthy pocket. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Still healthy. I think what I do is I don't buy anything from her. I just you keep don't. visiting her. You know my favorite thing in the world is people who buy my stuff. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and now it's your girl's turn. Oh, thank you. Um, God, I don't. So cute. Yeah, but I don't even know who I'm really going after. Uh, I want to go to coach. Go get some free. Oh ball. shit! I should have went after coach. Oops! I fucked up. You yeah. notice Liam looking. Liam. You look. You notice Liam looking disgruntled, which is his default. So whatever. But it seems like Miranda's pretty upset too. Better check this out. Liam, why are you typing on your phone so angrily? 
Did your phone offend you in some way? Oh, why are you mad at it? You seem to be an 8.5 on the frowny Liam scale. The what? <laughs> the frowny Liam scale. Normally, I can tell how people are feeling from their faces. It sounds but you like seem to toad. be frowning most of the time. <laughs> so I created a chart to measure your frowniness. Frowniness. Miranda pulls out a notepad and displays a series of doodles of Liam's <laughs> frowniness. They're not super accurate, but they are super adorable. I'm not angry at my phone. My so-called frowniness is caused by a heinous error. I specifically asked that my creative cream... Br uh, br my creme brulee. Yeah, my creative creme brulee be extra crispy, so it truly popped with my hashtag mascara Instagram Master. filter. Oh, I thought that said mascara. Whatever, we're going to keep going. Fuck it, I like the mascara line anyway. Me too. <laughs> it said they burnt it. Burnt, it, burnt it to a crisp, rendering it unphotographable. Unf Unfucking photographable. Fucking Monsters deserve to know that what they're getting into if they choose to eat at this cafeteria so they can choose to take so they can choose to take their business in, to a different establishment. So, I'm writing I'm writing a scathing Yelp review. Wow, he's so hipstery. Liam, you can't do that. If they shut the cafeteria down, the school kitchen staff will lose their jobs. Did you know the peasants have to do labor to make living wages? They don't simply have an unlimited source of gold. I was shocked when he first found out. Of course you were. If the kitchen staff wanted to earn their wages, they should have been better at their jobs. I am, I am simply the merchant of truth. Oh, there you're the virgin of poop! Your royal sophistication shines through. Look, ask Blue. Her taste may tend toward the mainstream, but surely she can see this. The par cafeteria must be exposed. Don't be ridiculous! Blue is surely more compassionate than that would gladly save the cafeteria again. Wow. Uh, again? Gosh, it's hard to keep track of your misadventures at this shit show of a school. <laughs> Still, you'll help if you can. Miranda can't undermine Liam's admittedly under criticism. Okay, Liam, one alone voice can't solution down to be at least not the voice of the high schooler. Let's get renowned food critic to write. Okay, God, fuck. Um. Oh, wow, those are both pretty good. Yeah, I think this is pretty creative. Ugh, I don't know. This is pretty. Uh, this is kind of smart though. What do you need to, what do you need to, are you going after Miranda now? I have no you idea. Just, 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 I'm, I'm literally just like, I don't. Just going? Yeah, I'm just going. Um. I don't know, man. I don't know. You get some hard fucking, you get some hard ones. I know, I always feel like I'm getting like super challenged. Uh, you would have just gone the easy route and picked cows. I coach, did, yeah, I should have just, up. I know, I should have <laughs> went for that sexy fucking tiger cock. I'm going to go with this one. Yes! Oh, nice, nice. Why, of course, this is Blade of Balls, two of my most favorite strategies. Gathering an army and outsourcing work to the disenfranchise. If it involves torture and suppression of dissidents, it would hit all of my favorites, but there might be something top of the leader. Wow. <laughs> I don't even have a response to this. You go to the vast homeless population who wander the woods near the school, don't ask, and convince okay. them that the cafeteria is a trendy <laughs> new restaurant that sells food for the most valuable currency of all. Positive Yelp reviews. Nice. Turns out people are pretty gullible when they're starving, so they flock to the cafeteria <laughs> in droves and start writing spectacular reviews on their phones. Because now homeless people have phones of their own now? It seems they kept all the unwanted blackberries. Remember blackberries? Yeah, me neither. Miranda Vanderbilt says, Principal Giant Spider bursting into the cafeteria with, with eight... Eight-legged penance. Panache. Panache. Stop bringing... Stop bringing droves of homeless people into our cafeteria! The principal giant spider who's the absolutely final of the fatality of the school! You said that the last five <laughs> times. You can't solve all your problems by manipulating the homeless people. <laughs> Notorious PGS storms out, but Miranda looks perfectly chipper. Oh, he may pretend to be upset, but I think the subject's pretty clear. Thank you, Miranda Blue, for saving the entire school like the beautiful heroes that you are! That's a 100% a lie, but Miranda called you beautiful. Aw, that's a win. Holy nice. shit. Let's trade places. Where are we at on time? Oh, we're good. Great, oh, we're all good. right. 
Everybody chooses an object. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking, okay? This is an object? Uh, or... I'm going to say... Dildo. Damn it, that was what I was going to go with! Yes! Um... Ping pong paddle. It'll beat. Player order does. Player order decide is decided based on how useful the selected object <laughs> would be, as you're only belonging on a desert island. Oh, so wait, what did we all pick? Dildo, anal beads, ping, <laughs> ping pong, pong paddle. paddle. Ping pong paddle. Uh, oh shit. Um. Oh, I mean, um, I've basically got a plate. Yeah. yeah that's, a Andy's got a plate and a pa and like a. I feel like Andy's got a paddle. I could no way. Paddle. I've got a weapon. I've got a fucking so weapon. Does he, so do I. <laughs> yeah, but my weapon is way better than your weapon. It depends. Pens. Dude, even just like a standard like cock and balls like dildo. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Like, you could like beat something. Yeah, you to can death beat like that. a fucking dodo or something like that to death. I still, I like as for as I don't of know, usefulness. I've got a though, paddle. <laughs> as of usefulness, I think Andy. I think Andy's got it. I, I'll go Andy and then. But you I can also me. pleasure myself. So could I. So could I. <laughs> all right. The, all right. Pa <laughs> the paddle's got a handle. You know, you know what? He's got a point. Andy can smack himself. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right. So we're gonna go boom. Like the dirty, boom, dirty boom. boy. Yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll go last. I definitely chose the least so effective. There you go. You get to go the first. The least effective item. Uh, Little beads would be my last choice of things to bring I to mean, a desert island. I was about to say, yeah, I don't know. If if I was stuck at a desert, yeah, if I knew I was going to a desert island, I would not have chosen anal beads. Yeah, seriously. So you're still. On I would have your... chosen a big purple dildo. So you just came here to say hi. What a weirdo. Human interaction is so last year. Damn, That's Andy. Yeah. That's it. That was wow. quick. <laughs> that was super quick. I'm trying to figure out how you do it. I can't remember it. Um, so she's in the gym? Oh, you can see the... Yeah, yeah, she has yeah, a little icon. You can see the icon now. You just couldn't do it the first day of school. Uh, well, first week. Oh, first, whatever. Yeah, the first week. Um, the I'll go to the auditorium. Oh. That day oh, while rehearsing so for the class... I know, dude. Seriously. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as... Though the muses themselves have descended to give you figure of oral sex. All right, cool. Your performance, your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered from generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. Great. Nice. nice. After all that, you does. Uh, after all that, mm, excuse me. Hold on, wait. That's my normal voice. <clears throat> after all that, you decide to look for a spot outside the school where you can get some good sunbathing. It's nighttime. But you fail to focus on your sunbathing since you see Scott and Miranda deep in conversation. Okay, what's up, girl? What god, up, girl? She's so cute. She's so Matt. adorbs. Wow. Oh my god, dude. Lord knows I'd smash. That's straight up. It's a sports game thing, Miranda. I think I'm a good boy, but there's something that just gets me growling when I see the opposing team. Oh, Scott, believe me, I understand better than you may think. It's exactly how I feel about this horrendous air people. Wow. Air people? Yes, God. Obviously, the air people I know. I've told you about them before. They're the sworn enemy of the murder people, and they must all be destroyed if they refuse to accept our superiority. Wow. Oh, wow. All of them? That sounds really hard. I'm really hard. Uh, me too, dude. It will be. They're a horrible, ruthless nation of furry socialists who refuse to bend the knee, no matter how many times my father invades. Your father could invade me. They don't like guacamole, Scott. <laughs> They eat the crust of their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches! You can eat the they crust of my ass. with sandals! <laughs> socks with sandals! And fanny packs! Oh, man! That's a pretty scary enemy, Miranda. What are the mer- What are the mer people going to do about it? That's a great question, Scott! We're trying to the bombs, chemical warfare, and torture! With their exiles! Oh, so <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Hmm, it's really weird that this wouldn't sway the air people, but maybe you could step in and help? Scott and Miranda probably have different takes on what the best strategy would be, so think hard about what you would pitch. Reach a truth, wipe them out. Wipe them out. Ah, oh, oh, what? Oh, what? No. I figured she'd want them wiped out. That just makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense, but she was not about it. Why, yes, of course. That's a brilliant idea, Blue. No, it's not. You didn't think it was cre Don't lie to me like that! I told you it's based off your stats. I'm bummed. The right answer. Oh, wow, look at her eyes, that, though. I know, right? She looks She looks happy. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good adage, Miranda. I don't even... I don't, I don't, place, I don't even give a shit. I'm sad now. Wait. Wait. What? Wait. Yes. No. But Scott, how did they? They look at you. See? Oh, but she, she still loves, still loves me. it. She still it wasn't loves me. But she loved the idea. 
Oh, but I, I lose two smarts and one charm. That's not good. That's a no good. That's a, that's a, it could nope, be worse. That's, that's a no good. It could be worse. It could Fair. be worse. But that was still okay. no good. Okay. You could have um, genital warts. Genital warts. I like all the fives you have, and then you have a twelve and a, and a six. six. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so I don't know. I don't know. To, she's either in the bathrooms or she's outdoors. Just like I don't know. I was gonna say, why don't you just yeah, like consistently should, should hang out doors. in the bathroom? Oh, look at me! Look at me! Look at you dabbing! Oh, oh, oh damn! Shit. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. Yeah. You have, have no the picture of me dabbing, just like. Oh yeah, no, I'll put that up there. In front of that. <laughs> Bam! You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like three hundred people. Wow. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimensions. The consequences might distort the fabric you had itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. Right? You plus gain two plus fun. two fun. Uh. Uh. Afterwards. Talking to Damien eating some delicious looking bookie boopies. Boop. <laughs> some Jesus. Some bit bookies. Some bop a bit boopies. <laughs> nah, you can pronounce hey. the K. Yeah, you can pronounce the K. But you, don't, but you shouldn't. Not the C. But you shouldn't. But it's mainly the C. But you shouldn't. But like then the K. boobies. Yeah, it's bop. It's bocklet bit boobies. B o o b i e s boobies. Boobies. Bocklet bit boobies. Hey, would you like to buy a cookie to benefit the agents of chaos? I'm trying to get my destructive capitalism badge. Fuck yeah! Of course I will, Grill. All proceeds go directly to the uprising chaos over order, and it's tax deductible. As I was getting fired from nursing home the other day, I heard a voice echo so loud you made my teeth rattle. It told me to finish in order to describe it. Oh, wow, yeah. Fucking wow. Metal. A badge of harassment for the elderly. Elderly, damn. Nice. And I earned my first badge of being unable and unwilling to stop partying. Oh, nice. That's a sick badge. That's a right? sick badge. My goal is to get enough badges to make a bikini out of and then wear nothing. We're in and wear it and nothing else, else forever. forever. Damn. Fuck yeah. That Polly makes a bikini out of them and wears it nothing else for, everywhere forever. Yeah, it's a very good goal. Fair. I wonder what badge I should go for next and what hijinks we can get into to earn it. You know oh, what's God. crazy and chaotic? Being single and partying forever. Destroy the institution of marriage. Fair. Chaos always better. Sense, sensible agony. This all the water in the school swarms mosquitoes. Uh, I, I feel like Polly's gonna like this whole, this whole crazy single and partying. Well, yeah, yeah, but also consider your stats. My phone's pretty high. All right, all right, you all right? You all right? You all right? Bro, don't let me set me do. Do whatever. Yes, yes queen! <laughs> oh, my God. So bold. I always say that marriage is, like, such an outdated institution. But think how panicked old people will be if we dismantle it. Yeah, they'll act as if, like, it matters or something. All it is to y'all in torch all the marriage certificates. And I'm going to go to the bridal salons and pour pig's blood all over the dresses. <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> Perfect. Wow, look at his smile. That I know, wow. Devious. That is. Man, we're going to get that disrupting societal norms badge easy as pie. Badge bikini, here I come. Uh. Ooh. Why do even the simplest plans seem to escalate into arson and blood so, so quickly? Whatever. You gain plus two fun, plus one boldness. Uh. That weekend, Ooh. something happened to Yellow. Oh no, what that's happened? not what I wanted. What happened, Yellow? That's not what I wanted, though. That's not what I wanted to do. That weekend, you were having some sick milkshakes with your buds Scott, Miranda, and Damien. Tight, tight, tight. Conversation is chill and weird, and you're listening to Scott talk about stuff that makes no sense, but you're enjoying yourself. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And that's how I learned that even if Principal Giant Spider is such a nice dude, in general are not or wait spiders are in general not nice and like to prey on other insects that's actually very true that's very true wait 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 wait, wait. what what wait. whoa shit is it wait. next time on episode on underground arcade time yes, it is holy shit all right taters. Like way next time all right taters we will catch you later then shit later